Thanks for staying with us. So, according to a psychologist, accepting your partner's flaws will make a relationship last longer. But in a case where the flaws are too numerous, what can the righteous do? <laughs> what can you do? So, um, have you ever broken up with someone over a single character flaw or say, you know what, I'm done with this union, this marriage, because of a serious character flaw? And the reason why I'm discussing this is because lots of people have sent us messages, especially young couples, on how difficult it has been for them to um, discover their spouses and, and then realize that they cannot really adjust to this character flaw. I mean, I've gotten about a few messages uh, a few months back of somebody who was, she was, um, I think she's been married three years. Something as basic as snoring is a problem for her. And I'm thinking, that is so mundane. But for her, it was like a serious matter because her husband was over, over, overweight. And the according to her, she, she never really knew that it was something that was going to be tired. The snoring is really high. And she can't sleep. And of course, for that time, they had only two bedrooms. Nanny, and then so the, she couldn't go into the nanny room, so she had to sleep in their own room. So, as small as it sounds, that was a major thing for her, and she and it, for her, she was not happy. So she was not asking that is this enough for me to say I'm not I'm done with the marriage? Do I stick in this because um, if we, I mean, can I leave a marriage because of snoring? I mean, so me, I, I mean, of course, I forwarded that to Nima because me, I'm not a, a marriage counselor, but I try to hear people's thoughts, and it's important to hear to share each other's views on this. But yeah, what I mean, that's, that, that's just one example. But there's so many other examples. Talk about the story one was really, really, it got to because It got to you too. Yes, because the first, I, I, I got married and I realized, okay, is this like, is this going to happen for the rest of our lives? Mm -hmm. Like, well, this is how sleep would be. And occasionally, even till now, I still have to struggle to fall asleep because it snores. Mm. And Fast forward years down the line, I've slept with a few girlfriends and I realized that women snore too, mm. and it's just as bad. Mm. So um, I think that uh, we, we, marriage requires tolerance, and there are deal breakers and there are non-deal breakers. Mm. Um, so if it's about finding medical solution, if he's willing to find med medical solutions to the options of losing weight or consulting, this, there are pillows you use, there are nostril stuffs they use that things that they can do, lifestyle modifications that might help to um, resolve whatever that problem is, mm -hmm. let it be done. But you see, um, bad habits can be a deal breaker, especially if it's something that really irks you and you've raised the issue over and over again and you can see that your spouse sort of isn't listening. Mm -hmm. The reason it can become a deal breaker is because the person interprets it, the, the partner can now interpret it as disrespect for me. Mm. It is the way this, it is the way we interpret it. Mm. If I, if if someone is saying I don't want you to touch this thing like this, whenever you touch this thing like this is very very annoying mm. for me. But the person you're talking to keeps doing that exact same thing. Mm. You will feel like it's as if you don't have regard mm. for me. Mm. No, you don't respect my feelings. You keep doing this thing. It is at that point that it deteriorates into being a deal breaker. Mm. Okay, your thoughts. Are there, are there any things that you feel that the character? Do you think? Do you even think? one singular character flaw is enough to say you're done or can we or do we need to continue to elevate especially in this new generation where mm. young people don't have that patience to continue to manage they say i don't mm. want to endure i please i'm done i don't want to enjoy i don't want to enjoy you know it, it depends on what the character flaw is it can be something as mundane as snoring that will end up end the relationship as far as i'm concerned hey. but there are things that so for me i think it's good to get to know your partner before you do mm. that, take that, because once you are inside, it's, it's difficult, especially their children, to just walk out. Not everybody is like me. Mm. When, you when, know? You, when you say, well, you know your partner, let me tell you, like, it, there are some certain groups of people, mm. some religious groups that they don't like to know, really know your partner. Mm. You meet the guy in church, you say, I'm to pastor, mm. and both of you are like each other, and bada bing, bada bang, you're married. Mm. But in, the, in, the, in other groups, you date, you hang out, you stay, you can sleep over, you do stuff like that. But even like in dating, you, you don't know. really know. But, but you still because people so show you their best side. When, when, when it I is when you get it's... inside that you will now see the person. Exactly. It is when you get inside, mm. you now see the person. Now, there are some certain things. If I get inside the marriage and I didn't know my husband was a murderer, that's a character flow. <laughs> my husband is going out to murder people. Of course, he's not going to come back and meet me before the day he turns to me. 
Mm. That's even more than me. Mm. Do you understand? So there's some things that there's some things there's some certain things that you're not have boundaries. To. Yeah, mm. you know. So if, if if I find out my husband is a thief, it's an armed mm. robber at night. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Am I going that, to stay? That's, that's, that's a criminal. That's not even a character no. flaw. But some people still stay in the marriage it's with a the criminal. Character flaw. If an armed robber, you are a, it's a character flaw now. Mm. Mm. Because you have said that it's, it's other people's work that you want to be collecting, mm. not mm. your own. Mm. Okay, let's go, let's come to something here. Um, there was something I noticed with my, my husband when I just got married, and he did it yesterday. And I realized that he didn't really, it, it wasn't as annoying as it used to be. So, you know, for me, when you eat, when you have, um, you want to make your swallow, like your um, semo, eba, whatever, mm. when you roll the food and put it by the side, when people want to eat, they eat by the sides and eat into it. When I got married, I realized my husband eats the eba from the top. What happened is, you put your hand in the soup, you put your hand in the eba, the eba would get stained with the Ew. soup. I found it very, like, yeah. it was so, I, I, I'm not going to eat it with you. Eat from the side. You know, it would, I would not eat today. I'm not going to eat this food again. How will you be eating and there's and stain soup anyway. on top of it? Ew, it's mean. something <laughs> small, but it was, I, my mm. reaction was not rational. I was always overreactive whenever I see him do that. And I realized that, well, this is how... He, he likes it, you know, he knows how to eat. So it was a case of but guess how what? seriously I'm going to take this issue. Guess what? You know what you did? Yeah. You decided to be eating separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it, it wasn't strong enough to say, ah, I, I can't take this thing, so I'm going to leave him because <laughs> I, it's, okay, you have a call. Yeah. Take the call Let first. me take this call from Irabo. Irabo, are you there? Yes, I'm calling. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. I'm a short caller. Welcome Good morning. to the show. <laughs> And I want to ask, concerning what you are discussing now. Yes. If you come back from work at time, he used to snore. So I, I discovered that when he's sleeping on his back, he used to snore like that. So what I used to do is that I would turn him. I would wake him a little bit and turn him. I like when I him by the side. The snoring would be due. We need to enjoy each other. Mm. As I am, I have my own side, he has his own side. Mm. So if you cannot enjoy each other, marriage cannot work. Mm. If you are saying your husband is doing this, you are irritated. What about you? Mm. What, what are those things your husband has been taking for you? Exactly. That you have been enjoying for a long time. Even sometimes, you know that men will not be able to even stay out. Mm. They will be enjoying you and you know something like that. So we need to right. really enjoy each other. Thank you very much, Zara. There are some ways you can sit him down, you can talk. Sometimes mm. when you talk, you feel irritated. Yeah. Thank you very much, you Mrs. Zarabo. You know, when she said that, that what, are, what are the things that your own spouse is enjoying about me? I know I had one flaw that I never knew that brushing at night was a big deal for my husband. I mean, me, I don't brush. I go to sleep normal. What's the big deal? <laughs> but he will, he will be in the bathroom brushing in the evening. I'm thinking, I just thought that's just him. But... Was it, it felt was a... If, if he was... Sometimes uh, in, in the room, he just realized he just rolled over this side. <laughs> and I want to come here, you know, he just rolled over. Like, he won't want to come and tell me, I can't see oh, you've not brushed at night. <laughs> because me, brushing, I mean, they tell you in primary school, brush twice a day, but who does that? I mean, one, we all I brush do. in the morning. I do. So many of us brush in the morning. And me, I just buy, use buy mouthwash and I just buy on and I'm fine. But my husband, he has, he has been a habit for him from day one to brush morning. In fact, when he eats food and he has a lot of food, he goes and brush. I'm thinking, ah, can you go lie? But I didn't realize for him, when I, when I sleep, the breath is horrible for him. It's like he moves away. So it was many, it was, I didn't know immediately, it was after. And I realized, ah, what's wrong with this guy that we'll be, we'll be moving close to him, we'll be moving away? Ah. He now finally now to him, pay. Maybe you should be brushing at night. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm like, so you had endured oh, the policy, could you? endured me for many years. I said, oh, brushing at night is a problem for you. So I just started reminding myself to you brush it because that. So it's those little, little things. But you see, but you see, it goes back to communication. Mm. You know, people don't, he didn't think that it was necessary to tell me because he felt he didn't want to hurt my feelings. But he, you are suffering and you're enjoying the situation. You could have just, and it took us years. It could be years. I would just be observing. And so I think it's important for us to always remind ourselves to talk. And how you receive it. How are you receiving it? You received it. You didn't take it as this yeah, person is attacking me. me or insulting me. So mm. you mean I have bad breath. What do you mm. mean? So people would take it like that. That so, And their reaction would cause a break from mm. any further feedback from mm. coming in. But you took it as this is my husband's feedback to me because... He cares, he wants me to be better, mm. so I'm going to mm. respond. And 
it, sometimes communication, we preach communication, but we don't preach re reception, re how we receive the communication. Mm. When somebody communicates your, a flaw, mm. a character flaw, something mm. you grew up with, it takes a whole lot of strength as a person not to take it personal. Mm. So I have allergies. My, one of my son has it. When you wake up in the morning, I'm like, <gasps> I'm scratching my ears, I'm sneezing, I'm blowing my nose, it's... He just look at me and like... <laughs> I'm like, I cannot help it. It's, I need to mm. clear my airways. Mm -hmm. Then he, he got used to it. But then we don't have a son who wakes up at the first thing he does it. Mm. 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 When he's blowing nose, I'm like, oh let me my goodness. Goodness. Let me go on a quick We'll come back and take a few tweets. Stay ah. with us. We'll be right back. That reminds me of something. Yeah, yeah. we'll take you after the break. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, we're talking about... Um, various things, and I said that, even, yes, even I had the issue of not brushing at night, but I know, when my husband when he wants to brush in the morning, oh God, the whole house will be shaking, gee, 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 gee. <laughs> like, please, it just, coughing it out, yeah, digging like, for gold. Close the door, beg, we don't, the whole house doesn't need to know that you're brushing. So those are little things that yeah. we do to each other that we don't even know, mm -hmm. and we have to communicate to let people know how, but, isn't, but even if you communicate, are these big enough deals? You see, that, that's the, we've not gone to the crux of the matter. These are small, small things that happen, but some mm -hmm. People are refusing to accept these behaviors that's in their marriage. So saying, you know what, this is huge for me. These yeah, are deal breakers. I think that that's why in the Western world you have marriage counselors, mm. not your pastor, mm. real professional Counselor. marriage counselors. Because mm. there are things. Because I remember my own ex-husband. He, he, he used to do uh, every day. Then he would do his nose like this. <laughs> I, I used to be. Crazy. They, ah, why? You know, and he would do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. it all day. I used to go mad. <laughs> and at that point, that's where I've now realized that at that point we needed a marriage counselor mm. to talk to us and tell him either you go somewhere private to do it, or you, madam, try and endure. But I couldn't endure it. So what, what we need to do is to advise these young people. Who are now getting? Who are now seeing things in their marriages mm. that mm. they didn't see yeah. when they were courting? Because mm. everybody's doing what we do. Everybody's on yeah. their best behavior. Yeah. When you now enter the thing, you now home. realize. <laughs> Let me take this call from John. John, are you there? Thanks for calling. Mm. Good morning. And, uh, uh, and finally, morning. Good morning. 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 Yes, uh, I'm so excited to be with you. I've been calling for a long time. This is my first time. Thank you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Uh, actually, um, this is um, a, a fundamental thing, uh, a, a change in, a change in when you talk about marriage, and um, if it's something you have, you have probably, have, I've probably listened to people uh, like you on the program as a young, you know, uh, 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 a young man or a young girl, you need to start to prepare your mind that if things like this come up in my marriage, how do I manage it? And <clears throat> that I found me really helped me in my own marriage, you know. Mm. I already became a mind that if anything happens in marriage, mm. it's something you have to sit down with. I don't have the possibility in my relationship to mm. I believe that if I have a, a lady who happens to be my wife as my younger sister, will I abandon her? Because he's having a, 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 a challenge or a character effect. No. So if you look at it at that level and then, you know, being a Christian, you can also pray about some of these things. And I also believe that whatever you cannot change, live by it. Just ask God to give you grace. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. So John. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you. So there are little things like, you know, I mean, people, there are women that they can wear one bra for five days. <laughs> men can wear boxers for um, two weeks. These are things. Or men <laughs> refuse to put down the, return the... No, no, I, told you, I told you I had that issue in the beginning. <laughs> when, when, we, when, we just started, when we just started living together, after our marriage. So I'll pull, I'll pull down the toilet seat. And he'll be fighting me that she could leave it off. And I'm going, no, no, you leave it down. We fought on this thing. Leave it off. I said, no, no, you leave it down. <laughs> and, and after a while, we just realized that hey, somebody has to lift, somebody has to bring that. So both of us, we keep lifting. Then he wants to use you, lift it off. <laughs> no, but I was really angry that why must you leave this thing up? It is normal people leave it down. No, no, no. He he's like, no, no, no. You are the one that is abnormal. Normal people leave it. We fought over this thing. So, no, but he was right, too. 
Really? Mm -hmm. No. no. It's supposed to be down. The toilet seat is supposed to be down. No, he, he lifts he, it up to go to the loo yes. and leaves it up. He leaves, and he leaves it up. When you get there, he put it down. Oh, okay, so, so that was the solution he came up that with. Was so <laughs> he, he, was, he was like, he can't be touching the toilet. I'm like, well, guess what? I'm going to be touching the toilet. <laughs> so, but you see, these are little things that we all kind of just adjust and So it, it, it's, it, it's, it's about was, what, what, was the, what, were you, what was your expectation when you mm. were getting into marriage? Were you, were you thinking that, oh, this is my Mr. Right. He's perfect. He's going to make my life beautiful. There's no flaw in him. That's wrong. Many people go into marriage like that. I had like meals and bones, um, expectations of marriage. And then I got married and I realized, oh, my husband is snoring, I'm not sleeping so well. Oh, okay, I am having, my allergy is getting to him. Oh, it's okay. Um, so we, I just started seeing things and I realized, okay, it's not the way they paint it in the mm. romantic novels for us. This is reality. Mm. And we must be made to confront that reality before we get married because mm. some people can't, they can't um, tolerate and guess the what? reality. This is where in-laws come in. Mother, Mothers-in-law, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah, because when your child is complaining to you that oh, there are some mothers-in-law that will not that reaction will just agree with things. Yes, so we we need to now talk to ourselves mm. to give the right advice or mm -hmm. just keep your mouth shut. Yes, mm -hmm. give them time to Let go through it. Doctor Hassan, you're very quiet. Hassan, are you there? Good morning. Morning. Well, good morning, friend. Good morning. Hassan has good morning. Hassan has taken um, over from Yakub. <laughs> um, you know what? Yes. Let me cite a simple quotation from one man called Michael Ventura. Mm -hmm. He said, and I quote, marriage is a journey towards an unknown destination. It is not what you don't know about your partner, no. It is what you don't even know about yourself. Because there are certain attitudes that will be manifested in you that you don't know mm. that you have them, mm. that will manifest as a result of cohabiting together. Why can't said it all from the beginning? In every marriage, there must be a relationship. In Islam, let me tell you today, there is what they call probation period in Islam. Mm. People can decide to be conservative and look elsewhere. In Islam, you must know your partner, not sexually, no. You must know her attitude. You must know a lot of things about her. She must know a lot of things about you before you go into the marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not meant for breakup. Marriage is meant for first mending. Marriage is for people that can marry. Marriage is not for people that will just come temporarily and go. No. Mm -hmm. Marriage is about patience. It's about endurance. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have to wrap up on this, but do you have any tweets, YK? So we can run off. Yeah. Um, Ogumola Emmanuel Manuel says it's easier to point out character flaws because we are the ones affected. Have we ever considered how we affect others? Mm. Tolerance and, and endurance are very key to peaceful relationships. How would you like it to be treated if you are the, the flawed one? Andrew Stratham says, you must brush your teeth twice a day. I've been doing <laughs> it since one. when I was a boy in Nigeria. <laughs> um, Chimwe Charity Edoze says, yes, they are talking about brushing at night. <laughs> hey, <laughs> brushing at night and evening, and evening shower is a deal breaker for me. Mm. I had to make my hobby do it, mm. although he was kind of lazy about it earlier earlier on, but now he has formed it a, mm. as a habit. Communication mm. is key in every relationship. Right. And I think she said, she's really said it all. Mm. Um, Communication is important. And I mean, so, so like me, me, bathing at night was extremely important for me, but not for him. So mm. me, he was, he was the after jogging right on the bed. I'm like, ah, please mm. go to the bathroom and wash this, all this stuff. Because mm. I, I, I even feel like you scrub at night and the morning you do it, take a shower, you know, it's lighter in the morning. So we have this so little nuances, we have these this little, little things, things that we that, do. Yeah. I mean, I've, ra I've raised my kids too. At night we scrub, you mm. scrub in the morning, you shower, you know. So, but, but the truth is that we all, regardless of where we're coming from, because we all come from different, different backgrounds, we must know that we're meeting each other halfway. And they, it's all about adjustment. So this message yes. today is for young marriage pe married people because mm -hmm. those that are those of us that have been there more than five years and have been able to adjust. But many people have we've gotten a lot of messages from young people who are, are saying that they want to leave 
because of these little, little things. I was saying that communicate that, that. with your spouse. Because five years after, these things that you're complaining about will be like nothing. They're, they're just little things. You just need to just, you know, and don't go and report to your mother-in-law or your, your mother. Oh, yes. Thank that, you, Raki, for taking us there. That is very important. Because there was one person that told that I did mention that her mother-in-law um, is, is called for a meeting to try to resolve the issues. This, these mm. are little things that you eventually get. You don't, don't yeah, let's not yeah. aggravate the situation. Mm -hmm. I think and mothers in law and fathers in law, Femme. sisters in law, mind your business. Yeah. But please, there is one tweet I wanted to read quickly about the last su subject. If some, if some people think carpentry is beneath them in Nigeria, well, they should think of Jesus who owned the whole universe being a carpenter. He did it before he went into ministry. Ah, ah, I beg. Wear your jeans and t-shirts and design some stuff. <laughs> I have to read that one because you are a Jesus person. Okay, I yes, am a Jesus, a Jesus person. person. But the is that we, we were there. In fact, maybe we should make it a hot topic. Uh -uh. Okay. Let's talk about this. Yeah. These this, this jobs, like what, how do we begin to change people's um, perception about it? Let's mm -hmm. discuss that after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back.